it's on now okay welcome um, I'm doing another demonstration following on from the previous video this is beautiful topaz who's modeling and this is the middle of the week and we're all wrecked and uh, well, I, don't know, I feel tired anyway but um, we're, we're going to get a new lease of life now after our lunch and um, I'm going to do a demonstration bringing some color into this and to do that I was considering using some collage and things so I'm having a bit of fun back here behind the camera you can see the stuff people there will see the stuff on the camera and you'll see the whole shebang <laughs> okay so I better make something happen haven't I? Um, okay so thanks Topaz and we're 22 minutes starting now that's my plan. It's 21 minutes starting now. Oh, that's fine. I want to mess. 21 is fine. Okay. Um, because it'd be nice to have a good, good length of time in the afternoon too to play about. Just going to use my fingers here. Yeah. I think it's. Um, I'm going to use that side. I'll just put that there. I think there's something good about moving quickly. And, um, <clears throat> and doing something like you did yesterday with the two pieces of the collage that you stuck on either side of your vase, it kind of moved everything on, I thought. You know, you had to respond yeah. to those and do something different um, afterwards. Yeah. Okay, so um, maybe I'll just go into work on the, on the face a little bit again. And now that I've got the colours out here, um, I'm going to make, could I have the actual palette there again? I'm going to mix up some colour for this for the skin <clears throat> um, and explain maybe the eye. How about that if I was to do an eye? Mm -hmm. That would be yes. good, wouldn't yes. it? Yeah. yeah, no more of this kind of yeah. carry on. Let's get into the detail on something. I've seen Shibibi does it. Really. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the last few days you were making nice comments and I was saying, well, because my friend. <laughs> now today you've turned, no, again. I'm you've turned against me. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> but you kind of know me well, in fairness. <laughs> so you keep you keep me on track then, and you let me know if I'm veering off course. No better we'll, one. We'll like you off course. Right. I'm, giving, I'm giving you permission, <laughs> Valerie. <laughs> so actually, I quite like that collage there. Mm. Yeah, I think it needed to be subdued though, because it's, it's nice, quite yeah. a, you know, it was a very strong pattern. All right, so I've got red, blue. As long as you've got the three primaries really on your palette, you're okay. You can make most colors from those. So I've got that crimson, the hooker's green, and the lemon yellow. And between those three, I might get something that'll explain the, the shadows in the sockets of the eye. There we are. So something like that, I think will work. Because really what I want to do is to bring in a little bit of color now. And I want to have um, the water a little bit closer to me, so I'll plunk it there. It's really nice. It's been good having the big tables this week, hasn't, hasn't it? Because it's usually yeah. these little wobbly wooden ones. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's not a bad idea. We could have them all the time, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I never even thought it was all that area and it reserved for refreshments and things. But I think when you can't have fun baking again, I want to do that too. Anyway, we'll see. But yeah, big tables are good. Okay, so I'm finding this kind of um, brownish colour I think is going to work to bring a bit of um, tone into the face. And we're focusing mostly... Why is that wobbling? Is it the one at the back? Mm. This one maybe. Okay. We're focusing mostly on the eye. Remember that on the and I think there's this lovely kind of warmth in places, I think, even in the shadow there. Mm. I don't know. Something like that seems to work. And what then did you use again? So I just said the um the crimson. Uh -huh. This is acrylic, no the crimson hooker's green and the lemon yellow. And so I'll just do that again because it was simple enough, you know, the crimson, the hooker's green together and then a little bit of the yellow kind of warms it up. And if it looks too green, you would just put the opposite, which is red in. If it's looking too red, you would put some green. And if it's not um, kind of skin like enough, I think the yellow is the thing that makes it read as more mm -hmm. like a skin color. 
Okay. And actually the warm the warm brush in there um seems to be quite a nice one in this instance. For some reason it seems to need warmth, I think. <coughs> Sorry, I'm taking a long time. Okay, so we'll just do that. And actually oftentimes when you do make moves that are extend extending beyond the figure, beyond the face, it, it um just makes you feel a little bit more energized and um Actually, Topaz, I only just noticed, but do you think you could turn your face slightly more to your right? Yeah, that's it. I didn't realize it. I had less skin here between the nose and the edge of the face. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, all right. There's something interesting about that move that feels good. Cross-hatching, flaking with brush. And that is, a, that is a white shoulder. It is a white um, garment that she's wearing. Probably I'll pass something a bit of it. Yeah, I've got one on my desk. Yeah, I get it. Because actually the shadow on Pop has a shoulder there. Um, here, the shadow here. I'm just noticing there's a triangle coming in where the shoulder stops and the skin stops and there's a triangle between the two and for me the shadow of that white thing is going to have a greyness to it. <clears throat> when I say white thing I mean the beautiful bolero you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we can bring it down here as well. Kind of a good colour with that collage isn't it? It's working a little bit. Maybe I could make it work even more if I was to put some collage up towards the line now. Don't need all those little fingers though. Just the one finger going around the back. Maybe. And then a little bit could be indicated there too. Um, anything that describes the cross section of the body is helpful. So we've got that grey and might also use it up here so the arc of the shoulders extends uh, and out the other side. And once we've established this, you can tell me to stop you and you can, you can say it when you just said you were going to do an eye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy, I'm just holding back. <laughs> Something needs to happen there, doesn't it? In order for the brightness of the shoulder to read as being really bright. But I don't want it to be the same colour as the skin. The wall colour is a little bit disappointing here, so maybe a cobalt blue. So this is what cobalt blue looks like. Why not? Mm. I think that's going to work, yeah. Be bold. Is that what you said? Go for it. And to, get, to really yeah. go for it, to go for the eye. <laughs> How's the time? <laughs> How's the time running? Yeah. We've been um, seven minutes. Done. Seven minutes done. No problem. You get an eye done in seven. Um, in the next wee while. Okay. So I just wanted to bring. What am I doing here now? I want to be sure that we get still the extension of that lovely neck going back that way, and um, the shoulder there. Mm -hmm. And that could be, I think, maybe more of a red colour there. That move, what did I do there? That move there mm -hmm. could be maybe more like a red. <clears throat> and then maybe these little birds could be planted there. <laughs> so much for the eye. <laughs> well, I'm too easy, isn't it? Was, <laughs> don't you start. <laughs> These were my friends. If I'm going to, if I'm going to um, paint it, it'll take me a lot longer. Like sticking it on is going to be quicker, isn't it? Depending on how long I take to stick it on. If that's not really working there. I think it maybe more needs to be the one that goes down that way that's described. That's, that's, that's a bit better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not really. Dangerous having really nice collage stuff. Alright, I'm going to 
to stop the button. Just put a gold if you want the Oh, yeah. Can you tear off some bits? I trust your collage. You tear off bits that you think would work. In the meantime, tear a bit of gold from now. How about some Christmas bells as well? Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. No, we're we're channeling we're channeling now like the Fobs and and Matisse and folk who are kind of esteemed in the world of collage. Right, we bring in the tat in the kitchen. <laughs> I, I did love the picture with the uh, flowers in the hair. <laughs> that was be beautiful. But which one? Oh, the one of Helena. Yeah. Sorry. Oh yeah, that one. The photograph of Helena. Yeah. Um. I was really just letting you know that that's what she was. I had asked her if it was okay to share the picture because I wanted people to know what she was going to look like on Friday. So she might come with that crown on. Yeah, I'm just kind of going to see what happens with that. It's good to not know really what what's going to occur. But now it's definitely going to happen. Okay. Twelve minutes left. All right. Yeah. Okay. Mhm. Mm and maybe possibly um, just, I don't know, just kind of let a little bit come down here to you. <coughs> I thought it might be easier to start jumping on the other side. Yeah, but that's the kind of thing I might wipe away in a minute, you know, to get that. Um. <coughs> okay, now here we are. This is what I'm going to focus on here. <laughs> I think it's like your warm up drawings earlier. I needed to give myself the warm up side of the purse and my own friend here in, in the absence of in the absence of real life support. I'm gonna to have to support my own. God, how do you stick it really? It's wonderful. I love it. Oh. All right, so now let's see. We've got a bit of a shadow at least in the socket of the eye, that's good. The next thing I want to do there. I like these square brushes because they allow me to quickly make, um, just using your paper towel there, they allow me to find the edge, like say of things like the eyebrow. So I'm bringing some ultramarine blue in here. Ultramarine blue is a good one um, to kind of begin a dark colour. If I had brown with it, it'd be handy, but you can make brown with the blue and the, with the red and the green and the yellow, it makes a kind of a brown. Oh dear eventually get there. Something dark. There you are. That's kind of dark, isn't it? So that's what's going to work now for me to establish first the two directions of the eyebrow. So the dark of the eyebrow going this way, like pushing up and lifting, and then I'm going to bring it down for the side plane of the face. Um, where the eyebrow goes, goes in that direction then. Um, and for the purposes of this, I'm going to just do one eye. Um, just, yeah, I could just indicate there that the head. <laughs> well, it's kind of, yeah. Okay, actually, I might do the two of them a little bit. It's kind of easier for you, though. I think it's it's important to kind of do the two together. Otherwise, yes. Yes. yeah. Yeah, because that's the part of the difficulty of eyes, I think, is trying to locate them in relationship to each other. Okay, so there's, there's you'll find that on the other way, there's a direction this way. <coughs> Coming in from the eyebrow to the nose, there's a diagonal, but we sometimes can forget about that diagonal. So this is the one I'm talking about here. Um, the step in there, okay, and then the extension out for the nose. Okay, and then that's it. All right, and there's a bit of shadow here. So the shape of the skin is quite quite dark, isn't it, between the skin and the um, and the, uh, the the skin under the eyebrow, and before you get to the upper lid. Shape, I think. Hmm. Okay, and then yeah. So so what you're wanting to do really is to find. The two directions of the eyebrow and the shape of the shadow, the shape of the skin between 
the eyebrow and the eye itself. And with my eyes half closed, there's almost like a, a point of a, a triangle down here before we get to the lovely cheekbone there. There's this shadow that's underneath the socket of the eye. Mm. And um, might be kind of there. And I could just as that's drying, I'll just indicate the upper lip a little bit. Well, how much time have I got, Ronan? You have um, eight minutes. Oh, really? Are you sure? <laughs> this one's really strange. Eight minutes, that's very good. Okay, plenty of time for the eyes. You doing okay there, Topaz? Okay, so the, the dark of the upper lip, I think as soon as you bring contrast in anywhere, you can mm -hmm. want to do it everywhere. And probably if I wasn't fo focusing only on the eye now, which I am, um, I would go to the hair and make that dark next. Mm -hmm. But I'm not because I'm doing the eye. Okay, <laughs> see? <laughs> I can, I you can should just not tell us before now what you're going to do. Yeah, that's, that's a lesson it yes. really by that's now trick. should have learned. Like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So there's the red, that's the cadmium red I've bought in now because I want to make a skin colour for the eyelid that's light. You could use the stuff straight from the tube that's almost that colour, but I thought it would be good to make it. Um, Alright, so cadmium red and lemon yellow mostly. And then I put it in with the white. Let's get a kind of an elastoplast kind of a colour there that'll describe the... Um, the upper lid here. So with my eyes half closed, I'm looking at where it's mostly, um, where it's mostly landing the light, and it's actually running almost parallel to the eyebrow. This eyelid, the light on the eyelid, is running almost parallel to the eyebrow. There we are. Yeah. Well, it was mostly the cadmium red and lemon yellow, and a little bit of the hooker's green. Okay. And um, so that's what made that kind of orangey and then the white going in. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So the cadmium red, mm. uh, lemon yellow, you know, yeah. the lemon yellow is that, yeah. is that one. And the hookers, and the hookers green is the darker yeah. of the two greens. So cadmium red, lemon yellow, hookers green, and then white makes that. Um, that's all right. Yeah. So finding the position of the eyelid. And now I'm going to move across here to find the position of the other eyelid, which isn't actually in the light at all. So maybe I'll use a bit more of the more shadowy colour to describe the other, the skin between the other eyelid and eyebrow. I think that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, just needing to bring a bit of that same dark colour into this side. Okay. And then, got that. <coughs> okay, and now I'm going to put out a slightly smaller brush because I want to locate the direction of the upper eyelash line. So we get the ultramarine blue to make a dark colour again for that. Ultramarine blue mixed with the, the uh, crimson and the hooker's green there gives me a colour that's not so blue anymore. And a bit of the cadmium red into actually. So it gives me a, a dark colour. You just, it, when you're doing the dark colours, you just can, I think really, it's no harm to just experiment. Mostly, if I had burnt sienna on the palette there, I would have just mixed the burnt sienna with the ultramarine blue to get that dark, to describe something, for example, like the iris. And I'm finding that the outer corner of Topaz's eye here is, is higher up than the inner corner is. Um, let me just go back and see if that works. That's okay. I mean, the face will need to be renegotiated here to fit to fit the eye, but um, the corner of the mouth might be there instead, you know. And the jaw might come down a little bit lower. So let's go back up to the eye because the next thing there would be the shadow that comes up to meet the upper surface of the lower lid. Um, it seems to me like the lower lid is going to have that little bit of light between the iris and the shadow beneath it. There's a, a lovely bit of light catching the upper surface of the lower lid. And that's um, maybe the lightest part of the whole area. It's catching the light from above. So once you find the two directions of the eyebrow, the two directions of the, of the back of the, of the eyelid, 
and then you're wanting to find the kind of curve of the of the eyelash line itself and then I'm going to put something a little bit warmer on the brush the cadmium red here in order to kind of describe the inner corner of the eye and if I was to drop a straight line down from that it might be not far off the bump in the lip there that's a kind of similar color I think um, yeah I would really recommend that you constantly stand back and consider the height in relation to the width and everything so that um, you're not only doing an eye on its own, but, um, but there are things that I can explain about painting an eye, I think that would, would be helpful. So the other thing about the eye then, will I do the other eye? The, mm, I'll just leave it alone, hang on. There's a do few more things. Feel. Okay, there's a few things to do here, I reckon. Like I could bring a little bit more light into the brow bone there. So just using the light color. It's kind of got a bit of green in it, which suits me, because I don't want, I think the warmth on the eyelid is helpful, because that's going to stand out, and anything that's not directly catching the light could be a little bit more muted. Um, there. Okay. Gorgeous. And then, so the thing is that there's a bit of a shadow often that hangs down from the upper lid onto the iris. It seems to me like the iris is almost like it's hanging down from the from the upper lid and while Topaz has got these beautiful deep brown eyes I'm still wanting to distinguish some bit of a pupil in there so I'm going to um, maybe lighten up around I lighten up around there kind of um, around the pupil and then re-emphasize again the dark of the upper the upper bit of the eyelid could be made the iris could be made a little bit darker again with the brown and blue kind of mix and then maybe um, that light that's on the upper surface of the lower lid could be planted in there and are you okay yeah, yeah. Rest oh, okay um the, the bit of light here i'm actually just going straight for white let's see if it reads as being way too bright it's quite bright all right so i'll just put my finger on there and print it off bit of light is all right there um, but it looks to me like actually I could use a touch more warmth in the middle of the eyelash or uh, in the middle of the eyelid a touch more warm mm. so that's time up isn't it Ronan? Yeah. beautiful yeah um, just wanting to put a little bit more skin tone in there one final thing you might want to do with the eye with the eye to distinguish parts of the eye from each other it's often a good idea to use color as a way of distinguishing parts of the eye from each other so sometimes i'd put a touch of cerulean blue i don't have it on the palette so i'll just use cobalt blue a touch of blue into the white of the eye um you know i don't think it's necessary here because the background is blue mm -hmm. that would only make it awkward and while you're still there now it's probably too dry Oh yeah, remember, sometimes it's nice to wipe it away earlier and it's, it leaves a bit more texture. It is texture enough. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much so much. And thanks for watching. See, I did good. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. See you another time. Bye.